Oh, hey, look, it's a box with some styrofoam. That didn't work. So, what is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be a product. Wrapped up. Another thing. And that's it. So, we got this. Pulls apart pretty easily. Power supply, Lenovo power supply, 90 watt AC adapter, and this thing packed up pretty nicely, so that's always good. Hmm, looks like we need some sort of assistance. Through really easily. Makes sense. Okay, now that didn't do anything. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Well, this is certainly packed up very well. It's obviously some sort of brick. Am I able to slide it out the side? Almost. Almost. Make sure I don't scratch it. And now, struggling more with this than I expect to. No edits, this is real life. Okay, now I think we can unwrap this like a Christmas present. I'm being very gentle with this. Ooh, pop some bubble wrap. Very good packaging. Say Lenovo ThinkPad, which I already have one. In fact, I have the same model, but this one's in better con... Is that in better condition? It has some scratches on the lid that I don't remember seeing the listing, but I think that... Actually, that may be dirt. I may be able to just clean that off. We will see. To look at the back, these fans tend to be in bad shape, but this one's in good shape. Has a 9-cell battery, but I'm not sure if it holds a charge. This little bit right here has popped out. Goes back in very easily. Got our ports on the side, just like my current ThinkPad T500. VGA display port, Ethernet, three USB 2s, and a PC card slot. On the front, we've got FireWire. We've got the wireless switch microphone and headphone jacks, full-size SD card slot, the latch for the LCD. We've got this little bit, which is actually kind of cracked and pushed in, but I believe I should be able to replace it with the one off of my machine. There's the DVD drive. If 
appears to be genuine. Modem. And on the back we have the Kensington lock, the aforementioned battery, and the power port. And then on the back, we can see Lenovo. Not a lot of uh, light here, but we can see copyright 2008 Lenovo. There is the product ID, the Windows Vista business product key, which I'll take a picture of. So for whenever I reinstall Windows on this, and because the listing includes a, from what appeared to be a pirated copy of Windows 10, and opening this up, yep, T500, really good shape on the inside, has a fingerprint sensor, not as scratched as my machine. This keyboard is really nice. Very little wear on it. Feels solid. Got in Intel Centrino. This is also the higher end version of my T500. Because this one has the Core 2 Duo T9600, I believe. And mine has the P8700. This has 4 gigs of RAM in it, but it, it's upgradable up to 8. Whereas mine is only upgradable to 6, my old one. And more importantly, my old one has a, it used, it had a 1680 by 1050 screen, but I replaced it within, with a 1280 by 100 one that has, now has damage on it. This one supposedly has no damage on the screen, which is why I got it, because I wanted one with a better screen. And I figured if I'm going to do that, I might as well get one that's in better condition with a better quality screen, screen and that's the higher end version. So, track point looks good. So let's see if this thing has any power. Ooh. Okay, okay, good. ThinkPad. How is that? Oh, I can't do it with one hand. Oh, stuck key 2A. Okay, well, that's that's my bad. So, F1 to set up. F1 to... F1 to set up. F1 to set up. Why is this not working? Is there an actual stuck key? Okay, F1, F1, press F1 to set up. I'm pressing F1, that is indeed the F1. And for some reason, it is stuck on this screen. That's not good. Okay, let's uh, hard, hard power it down. Okay, turn it back on. And we're just not going to touch anything, and we'll see if this boots into Windows, and I can show the specs in there. Screen looks good so far. No damage. Error stuck key 2A. Well, that doesn't look good. F1. Oh. Okay, so it's not booting into Windows. Um, are any of these... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see if any of these maybe got stuck during transit. None of them appear to be stuck, but it thinks that there's a stuck key of some kind. And I'm trying to press F1 to enter setup. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So we see the Windows logo, Windows 10 logo. Based on the images in the listing, it appears that the person activated a pirated copy of Windows 10 Pro, the RTM version. Perhaps they've updated it since then, but we'll see. Um, but it appears to be a cracked copy of Windows 10. Yeah, this is the RTM of Windows 10. So they said they said that the warranty will be gone if I reinstall the operating system. I'm just not going to reinstall just in case. I'm just going to buy an SSD, which, which I was going to put in here anyways, and use that. So, you know, that way if I need to send it back. You can see all this all this junk on here. This is all, see where it says activator. Check out our other stuff. Obviously an ad for, for whatever company or individual made this pirated ISO. But this screen, wow. This screen looks amazing. This might even be better than, I thought this was 1680 by 1050. But is this even better? It looks like it may be. What is the, let's see, does the scrolling work? Okay, that driver is not installed. 
It doesn't show resolution, but I think that's just a Windows 10 thing. Let's see, advanced display settings. No, yeah, no, that's correct. 1680 by 1050. At first I thought maybe this was even higher resolution, but no, it's, it's just 1680 by 1050, which is perfectly fine. It's what my old, uh, what my ThinkPad used to have, so it feels great having all this screen real estate back with a 16 by 10 display. Very, very nice. And is this the one that has the webcam? That looks good, because mine, I believe, is the version that did not have the webcam. But, uh, let's go into the... Ooh, that, that button feels a bit stiff. Right, right button feels fine. Left button feels a bit weird. What about this one? This one feels fine. It doesn't feel stiff like it's used. These look like they're new, so perhaps it's just stiff because these are new parts. They didn't advertise these being new parts, but they look new to me. Fingerprint sensor, keyboard, everything looks new. The... The sort of sandy feel that these keys have when they're new that's supposed to keep them from trapping bacteria still feels great. They're not, none of these keys are glassy or like smooth feeling, like they feel rough like they're supposed to. And the track point feels really good too. So, now let's, let's see, system, yeah, system, here we go. If I'm even in frame right here. So we can see Windows 10 Pro. I mean, if they're going to install a pirated copy, at least they installed Pro, so good on them. Windows is activated. Yeah, sure it is. Uh, yeah, 4 gigs of RAM and an Intel Core 2 Duo T9400 at 2.53 gigahertz. And 4 gigs of RAM, 64-bit Windows. So, yeah, that looks really good. And... If I grab my T500, which I'll do real quick before I end this video, if I can even figure out where it is. Just rearrange the living room so everything's kind of all over the place. So, move that out of the way and try not to drop that. I'll just hold that with my thigh as I pull this out. Yeah, that's good. So here's my current T500 has thoroughly been loved over the years. I've had this since, I think, 2013, I think. I got this in a lot with three of them. I gave the other one, I, I believe I sold one of them and I gave the other one to Ghost. So, oh, is this battery dead? It may be. We can see those two compared. Huh? It just got taken off the charger before I moved it. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. So, ooh, this just went blurry. Let's fix that. Uh, Windows saved disk as battery reached its critical level. Okay, enter. Resuming Windows. Honestly, now that I think about it, like my old one, honestly, doesn't have a lot of wear either. And that's what I love about these keyboards. Even though I've been typing on this thing for years, this still looks almost brand new. Just because of the uh, just resilience to wear that this thing has. And you can see the spot on the screen as well that I was referring to. Because I replaced this screen because my original one got, got shattered when someone threw a basketball at my face. That's a long story. And then this one, I bought a replacement screen off of a seller. And this went dead ex like shortly after the one-month period where I couldn't return it. And I sent the eBay seller messages saying, Hey, the screen's broken. Can I please get a replacement? I know it's out of warranty, but I really want a replacement. This is useless now. I paid all this money for a screen that's arguably just as broken as the one I replaced it, and the seller doesn't didn't respond, and of course eBay is not going to step in because they no one cares. Doesn't matter that the person sold me a bad screen, it's just uh, it's it's my fault now. So now I gotta take the loss on selling this. Um, I mean, it's not too big of a deal. It is still usable. I wish it was on the other side because then the start menu isn't in the way without you having to move it, but whatever. And apparently it's not showing anything up because I had a second monitor plugged into this, so it's probably not going to want to show anything. I think if I... Do I just... I didn't have a password on this, did I? I don't think I did. Yeah, you did. You had your fingerprint. Did I? Mm -hmm. Uh... Can't you hit control something? Or... 
What's the, what's what was that shortcut to change the monitors? I forgot what it was on the top of my head. Was it Control Alt and then arrow keys? No, that's to flip the screen. Well, I think I have the AMD graphics driver set up on this. Okay, well, whatever. You can't see you can't see this anyways. Um, yeah, but you can see the backlight bleed. I mean, this is a good way to show off the backlight bleed on this unit. Um, but yeah, and it seems like it's a lot better on this screen. This seems like a much better quality screen. And as well as it being a higher-end ThinkPad, definitely happy to have this one. Um, so yeah, I, I, you can't exactly do, see the screen comparison uh, as far as the resolution. But I mean, you know how that works. Obviously, the lower resolution is gonna be stuff's gonna be bigger and blah 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 yada yada yada. Uh, so yeah, that's my unboxing of my new uh, ThinkPad T500. Uh, one thing I will say is that I initially was gonna buy two of these from the same seller. I sent offers for both of them because I didn't realize the seller had two. I sent an offer for a previous one for like $80, and then I realized the seller had this one, and while this one had half as much RAM as the other one and was the same price, this one was in much better condition. At least it appeared that way and had a better screen on it. So I sent a $100 offer with this, and I asked, and in you know how with offers you can send messages. So I said to the seller, hey, I know I sent an offer on the other one, but I didn't realize you had two of these. I would rather have this one, so I'm offering you an extra 20 bucks. Can you please accept the offer on this one and cancel it on the other one so I can get this one? And the seller didn't listen and sent me an invoice for both of them. Uh, like, just straight up ignore my message. And ignore my message for like a week and a half until I called eBay and got them to convince the seller to uh, to disable the invoice. And then I was able to send an offer back for this. But in the process, I basically got this for $10 off because I initially sent the offer for 100 on this. And since the seller didn't listen, it made me go through all the hassle of waiting to get the second one canceled. Since I didn't have enough money to get both, I offered him 90 on this and he did accept it. I offered 80 at first, the one that I issued you know, the other one, and he rejected it. Kind of weird considering he accepted it the first time with the other one when they were both listed at the same price. But nevertheless, at 90, he did accept the offer. And shortly after, whenever this thing was in transit, he sent me an all caps message with a picture of the charger saying it now includes a charger, which is weird because the listing said it included a charger. So I don't know why you would send me a message advertising something as if it's a bonus when you said it was going to include it. I don't know, but I mean, I, I did get a charger. I haven't tried it yet, but presumably it's going to work. So... Because, I mean, these chargers are pretty strong. It's a genuine Lenovo charger, so if my other one worked, and I doubt this one will work. But, yeah, so I'm really happy about that. I got my old laptop back, and I even got, you know, one with a much better screen, not just without the damage, but a better quality screen. Still has a fingerprint sensor. And does, this has a webcam, right? Let's see. Yeah, that has a... Why aren't you focusing? Yeah, it has a webcam. This one does not have a webcam. My old, my old one does not have a webcam. Now... Now that I think about it, I just remembered my, when this had this screen on it, not this exact one, but the same type of screen, the 1680 by 1050 screen, it had a webcam and I thought I was going crazy because I thought the webcam just disappeared off my machine until I remembered that I replaced this entire screen housing. So it turns out I wasn't crazy. It's just that on the lower end screens, they didn't include a webcam and I didn't replace the screen internally. I replaced the entire housing with the hinges. So that's why. So I'm glad I just now confirmed that I'm not crazy. Well, I mean, I am, but not for that reason. And that, you know, different versions of this laptop actually do have webcams and some don't. Anyways, uh, long, big rambling thing, but, you know, uh, one of my favorite laptops of all time. And I'm, I finally got another one. And I also had a T60 and a T61 for a while because I was fixing them for my friend who owns a retail, uh, owns a uh, resale shop. And I decided not to keep those, but I may end up picking one of those up in the future, probably the T60, so then I have one with a 4x3 screen, but for now I'm not really worried about it, it's not really necessary, but I may start collecting ThinkPads, but probably not a, probably not a necessary hobby, although a cheap one, <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, that's the T500, and like I said, what I'm going to do with it is I am going to install a probably a 250 250 gig ssd in this slot and probably upgrade to eight gigs of ram and at that point it'll probably be perfect and i'll probably re i'll probably put windows 7 on it probably 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 anyways 
Um, maybe Vista. I don't know. Anyways, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more computer videos. I used to do them a while ago, and I haven't done too many recently. But if you guys want to see a review on these ThinkPads, let me know. I've been using these for years, so I'd love to do a review on them. Or I could also do a review on my Lenovo, uh, my Lenovo 4-in-1 IdeaPad Flex or my HP ZBook Workstation. I cannot talk today. My tongue is swollen. Um, let me know if you're interested in, in seeing any of that stuff because... I want to do something different. I don't want to just do vacuums all the time. I want to do other stuff occasionally since, you know, that makes it more fun. But whatever. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, this is Intelltech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace. And let's uh, see how long this thing takes to shut down. Oh, did I even test the speakers? How are the speakers on this? Is there? Where are the speakers? Oh, there they are. Wow, I am blind. Oh, they work. Maybe it, maybe it's a bad idea that I got this screen because I'm still pretty blind, but I can always do scaling, which in newer versions of Windows is better than older ones. Anyways, let's uh, shut this down. See how long this takes. One, two, three. Ooh, that battery's about to die. I already lost track of the time. Wow, that was pretty quick. And I'm pretty, and that's a mechanical hard drive. I don't remember how big it was. I could have just checked, but honestly, I'm gonna swap it out anyway, so I don't care how big it is. But yeah, I believe it was a 320 gig in here, maybe a 500, something like that. Whatever, spare hard drive. But yeah, so that's that. It's in pretty good condition, and like I said, I will swap that hard drive caddy with the one on mine, since mine's doesn't have the cracks in it. It's more flush. It's probably gonna be the first thing I do after I stop this video, just to make sure that that's correct. But yeah, and that's what I'm pretty sure it is. And then at that point, it'll be in pretty much good condition. Anyways, I ramble long enough. This is the end of the video. Bye.